Hey everybody, this is Reputed from Trauma Vids and Trauma Productions, and I'm going to be showing you just some basic stuff that you can do while operating Sony Vegas 9. So let's go ahead and open it up here. This is also going to be my first tutorial I've ever done. I'm using Camtasia for anyone interested. So let's get started off here. Let's go ahead, go to File, Open, wherever your video is and I have mine right here in this tutorial bin and or tutorial folder sorry we're just gonna go ahead and open it up and this is just my intro that I've made just real quick and easy I used I made it using Adobe After Effects which is right here um, so the first thing I like to do whenever I open a video is just highlight the whole entire video that you want to use right click it and go to properties right here you'll see all your properties that you have for me, I use an HD PVR if I'm playing games, so I have all my stuff in HD, but the best quality that you can possibly get is if you go ahead and disable resample and uncheck the main tech maintain aspect ratio box. That'll help give you the best possible quality that you can get. Another thing that also helps is if you come up here to the project video properties or hit alt enter you can enter whatever settings you want to use basically if you're using such as a dazzle dvc 100 or something you want to use this ntsc dv which is the 29.97 frames per second however if you're using hd depending on what kind of capture card you have or whatever you want to use one of these ones down here so just for example if you want to use that one but you always if you're recording HD you want to use this 59.940 frames per second the double NTSC that'll give you the best quality also if you already have your video here you can go ahead and find it here through your recordings and click on it and hit open and it'll automatically match what your video is to the properties in Sony Vegas you also want to change this to best to get the best quality possible click apply and click OK but however I'm not doing a actual gameplay for this one so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel it another thing to help slow down your video as some people know or don't know in Sony Vegas as I make this larger the screen actually lags as you play video sometimes how you can kinda see the screen lag going on there really easy fix to that is to go ahead and hit shift B and it go ahead it goes ahead and slows it down to 30 frames per second which makes it a lot easier to use this way as you see up here it's a lot smoother now and you can just see it all come in and it's not all splotchy and that's a big fix that a lot of people are having questions about so you basically you have your video here now so really I mean you can cut it out from anything uh, a lot of people don't quite know how to split you can uh, go ahead and just scroll in here just using the little cursor on your mouse and anywhere in the video that you actually want to split it so let's say right there I just want to go ahead and split it you actually want to go ahead and click on your video time bar wherever your timeline is and just go ahead and hit S splits it into two separate clips that can be helpful for a lot of people in case you aren't quite sure how to split a video then just go ahead and hit control Z or go to edit undo to go ahead and undo whatever it is you want to do uh, let's go ahead and add some audio into this once again go to file open I have my tutorial folder here again I have this song which is from the matrix soundtrack called Chateau and you can go ahead and edit it if you want the beginning to come in first or you want the song to actually replay itself or become shorter you can go ahead and adjust the length of it what I'm gonna go ahead and do here is there's the end right there I'm going to go ahead and make it shorter this way. And then once again scroll in so you can actually get in here and see what exactly what it is you're doing. Let's go ahead and fit this onto my video here. So now you'll see it all come into play. It's not quite lined up. As you see the blue line will tell you when you're lined up, when you're not lined up. Whatever you need to know. Alright, so we got my audio on there on top of the video let's go ahead and go here I'll just show you guys the event pan crop you can go ahead and if it comes in the screen here um, I don't even know what I just did I just brought in that little screen I've never done that before anyways 
<clears throat> you can go ahead and edit it however you want the screen to come in, whether you want it to flip upside down, you can change all the angles and the height and the width and stuff, you can change the, your focal point as you see on the right screen, your focal point will move around there. But I'm not going to go ahead and mess around with any of that right now. I just wanted to give you a basic overview of it. You can change all the keyframes, all that good stuff. So as we play it back here, audio. as it comes into play just like that, <coughs> what you can do if you don't want the volume of the audio to come in as strong as it possibly can, you have this volume channel right here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the volume. And as you can tell the difference, the volume of the music actually isn't as loud as it was before. That can be good if you want to add music into the background of match commentary or whatever you're, whatever you might be doing for your project. All right, so now that we got all this put together, we're going to go ahead and highlight your video. You're going to go to File, Render As, and then you're just going to go ahead and name it whatever. For this one, I'm just going to name it Intro Tutorial. I already have a template set up for HD that I'll go ahead and show you guys. Since I'm not recording for my HD PVR, what I like to use for HD is a 1280 by 720. This is just for my computer screen. I'm gonna go ahead and do the 59.940 frame rate. The profile, click main. You want to have none for the progressive scan. Your pixel aspect ratio, it really doesn't matter. I use 1.0000. And then I use maximum and average as 14 million for the bit rates. Um, I just think it turns out with the best quality for that one. Audio, you really can use whatever works best for your project. And then you want to have video rendering quality best. Go ahead and click OK. You can save that also if you'd like to. And then you're going to go ahead and just click save. It's going to go ahead and render through your project here. Uh, it tells you how much time you have remaining up here and you just sit here and we wait. Sony Vegas is a lot easier than many people think of it to be. Really, once you learn the basics of it, everything just starts to come into hand, and everything becomes a lot easier. While this is still rendering, if anybody wants any other tutorials on Sony Vegas, Photoshop, After Effects, Illustrator, go ahead and leave it in the comments below, or go ahead and PM me and let me know if there's anything that you'd like me to show you. So, as this comes to an end of the rendering here, you're going to go ahead and hit it. You can either open it to actually view the actual file itself. If we load here, alright. And just go ahead and click play. Whatever you're. Might have quick time, you might have not quick time. I forgot to mention um, as you render a video, you actually want to render it as an MP4. I will end up having the best quality for a YouTube video. Sorry that I forgot to mention that earlier. So once you have that done, you have it done. You can go to whatever your web browser is. I like Google Chrome. Come up here, go to YouTube. Click upload. Go ahead and upload your video. And just, there you go. Um, thank you everybody for watching. This has just been some basic editing and Sony Vegas tips. This has been a trauma productions and reputed has been here with you all along to guide you. Thanks for watching everybody. Be sure to rate, comment and subscribe.